Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fine. So, as we have done lesson number one and lesson number two with question answers, hope you all have completed till that in the fair book. So, today we are going to write the objectives of lesson number three. So, as I every day I say that we are going to write, not only you. I also will make you write. I will dictate and you will write. So, bring your fair book and bring your pencil and let's start. You have to give the heading. This is your heading. Lesson number three, housing and clothing. Lesson number three, housing and clothing. Give this heading on the first page and as I every day I say one thing on one page. You have to write one thing on one page. So, the first topic that we are going to write is hard words. So, give an heading H A R D W O R D S. Hard words. H A R D W O R D S. RDS hard words the first spelling is sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight second is k u double t c h a kacha k u double t c h a kacha P U double C A Pakka P U double C A Pakka. These are the two types of the houses that we have already learned. Kacha and Pakka house. Fourth one W W I R E wire N E double T I N G S wire nettings W I R E wire N E double T I N G S nettings wire nettings D U S T B I N S dust bins. D U S T B I N S dust bins. Dust bin is the thing in which we put all the dust. Fibers. F I B R E S fibers. F I B R E S fibers. Acrylic. A C R Y L I C. Acrylic. P O L Y S T R. Polyester. P O L Y S T R. Polyester. P O L Y S T E R. Polyester. Polyester. 
the first one is sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight k u d b t c h a kacha p u d b c a pakka w i r e wire n e d b t i n g s netting d u s t b i n s dust bins f i b r e s fibers a c r y l i c acrylic p o l y s t e r polyester polyester is one of the man made fibers kacha and pakka are the two types of houses wire netting is the netting that we put in our windows for avoiding uh, mosquitoes and flies inside our house dustbin is a thing in which we put all the waste fiber is a thin thread like material sunlight is a light that we get from sun next is the filling the blanks a house should have windows and open spaces to let sunlight and fresh air in okay a h o u s e house h o u s e house s h o u l d should h a v e have w i n d o w s windows a n d and O P E N open S P A C E S spaces T O two L E T let S U N L I G H T sunlight A N D N F R E S H fresh A I R R I N in a house should have windows and open spaces to let sunlight and fresh air in. if there is no sunlight in our house there be germs and if there is no fresh air we will not be able to breathe so what is needed in a house windows and open spaces if there are no windows in the house then what will happen you will not get any fresh air and you might not be able to breathe also so instead of that we need windows and open spaces there are even balconies in our houses that are the open spaces that allow the sunlight and the fresh air to come inside our house so we need windows and open spaces in the house now wire nettings wire nettings in doors and windows stop the entry of insects there are mosquito nets you might have seen there are so many mosquito nets available in the market that are square with small spacing just which allow the fresh air to come in otherwise the mosquitoes and flies cannot come inside these are the these are the kind of wire nettings it is square in shape according to the size of your window and door it has been fitted so the insects like mosquitoes and uh, house flies cannot come inside so the wire nettings wire nettings w i r wire n e w t i n g s nettings i n n d w o r s doors a n d and w i n d o w s windows S T O P stop T H E the E N T R Y entry O F O F I N S E C T I S insects wire nettings in doors and windows stop the entry of insects. Dustbin should be kept cover. D U S T B I N S dustbins S H O U L D B should. B E B K E P T cap C O V E R E D cover dustbin should be kept covered if we keep the dustbins uncovered then what will happen the all the germs flies house fly this will come inside our house and this that will cause diseases so here now in our uh 
our areas also there are dustbins big color dustbins with two uh, there is solid waste and liquid waste there are two dustbins that have been allowed by the government also that are being used by us so the the waste which is been occurred in our houses we should cover it and throw it in that way that should be safe that should not be open to anybody which can cause germs and diseases to others now e a r l y early f a n men u s e d used s k i n s skins o f of a n i m a l s animals t o 2 c o v e r cover h i s his b o d y body firstly the early man used to used skins of animals they used to kill the animals and use the skins of animals to cover their body there were no fibers uh, made there were no clothes made for them the early man the earlies in the earlies the man used to cover his body with the skin of leopard tiger and other things even they used to use some leaves also for the their covering okay e a r l y early m a n man u s e d used s k i n skins o f of a n i m a l s animals to t o 2 c o v e r cover h i s his b o d y body fifth one fibers obtained from plants are called plant fibers the fibers that are obtained from plants are called five plant fibers and the fibers that are obtained from animals are called animal fibers so f i b r e s fibers o b t a i n e d obtained f r o m from p l a n t s plant a r e r c a w l e l e d called p l a n t plant f i b r e s fibers fibers obtained from plants are called plant fibers which are the plant fibers which are the plants that give us fibers that is cotton and jute there are two things that give us the two plants that give us fibers that is cotton and jute that we have already studied in the second standard okay so before we move on to mf i will make you do revise this once again a house should have windows and open spaces to let sunlight and fresh air in wire nettings in doors and windows stop the entry of insects dustbins should be kept covered early man used skins of animals to cover his body fibers obtained from plants are called plant fibers now next match the following as i say every day and i am saying it today also that these are the direct answers in the exams this format will not be the same so you ha will have to find the correct answers and then you have to write the answers the answer of c o t t o n cotton is plant fiber cotton is an plant fiber cotton is an plant fiber that we get from plant wool wool where do we get wool from wool we get from sheep so what is a uh, wool it is an plant fiber or it is an animal fiber it is an animal fiber what it is it is an animal fiber nylon nylon and polyester these are the two fibers that are man made and they are also known as synth 
synthetic fibers nylon and polyesters are man made fibers they are also known as synthetic uh, fibers the other name of man made fiber is synthetic fibers in summer why the answer of summer is light colored clothes in summer do we wear sweater do we wear mufflers in summer do we wear raincoats no we wear light colored cotton clothes do we wear uh, sweaters in summer no we don't wear it what do we wear light colored cotton clothes we wear light colored cotton clothes in winter what do we wear do we wear in winter do we wear light colored cotton clothes no what will happen if we wear light colored cotton clothes we will get freezed we might get cold and we might get fever also due to that so what do we wear in winter in winter we do wear dark colored cot clothes dark colored clothes such as sweater muffler this all are used in winter now cotton plant fiber cotton plant fiber cotton plant fiber cotton p l a n t plant f i b r e fiber c o w t o n cotton p l a n t plant f i b r e fiber w l o l wool a n i m a l animal f i b r e fiber nylon n y l o n nylon a m a n man m a d e made f i b r e fiber s u w m e r summer l i g h t light c o l o u r e d colored c l o t h e s clothes w i n t e r winter d a r k dark c o l o u r e d colored c l o t h e s clothes cotton plant fiber wool animal fiber summer light colored clothes winter dark colored clothes okay hope you have written this moving on next that is give two examples two things that help in keeping our house clean what are the two things that we use for cleaning our house broom and mop broom and mop t w o t t h i n g s things t h a t that h e l p help i n in k e w p i n g keeping a h o u s c house c l e n clean b r o o m broom m o p mop what is the answer of two things that help in keeping our house clean that is broom and mop b r o o m broom m o p mop f i b r e s fibers p f r o m from p l a n t s plants what are the fibers that we get from plants we have studied so many times now we know the answer what is that cotton and jute c w c o w t o n cotton j u t jute c o w t o n cotton j u t jute fibers from plants cotton jute which are the uh, and fibers that we get from animals f i b r e fibers f r o m from a n i m a l s animals which are the fibers that we get from animals that is wool and silk wool we get this wool we get from sheep and silk we get from silk worm wool we get from where do we get wool from 
sheep and silk from silk worm man made fibers i said which are the man made fibers there are only two fibers that are man made that is nylon and polyester these are the two fibers that are man made which are they nylon and polyester okay f i b r e s fiber second number i am uh, dictating so you have to write f i b r e s fibers f r o m from p l a n t s plants what is the answer for that c o t t o n cotton j u t e jute what is the third one f i b r e fibers f r o m from n a i m a l s animals w o o l wool s i l k silk fourth one m a n man m a d e made man made f i b r e s fibers n y l o n nylon p o l y s t e r polyester hope you all have written now we are doing the given word household waste is thrown in this where is your household waste thrown in it is thrown in the dust bin d u s t does b i n bin h o u s e house h o l d hold household w a s t e waste i s is t h r o w n thrown i n in t h i s this d u s t b i n does been household waste is thrown in the dustbin and what are dustbin to be kept should be should we keep it covered or should we keep it uncovered it should be kept covered why because it may spread germs and diseases which may not might be good for our so we need a dustbin to be covered and where should our house always should be thrown it should not be thrown in the house itself right? it should be thrown in the dustbin what is the spelling of dustbin d u s t dust b i n bin the second one things that are used to make clothes fibers t h i n g s things t h a t that a r e r u s e d u s t o t m a k e make c l o t h e s clothes f i b r e s fibers what are fibers fibers are the thin thread like material used to make clothes t h i n g s things t h a t that a r e r u s e d u s t o t m a k e make c l o t h e s clothes f i b r e s fibers what is the answer fibers third another name of an man made fiber before 2 seconds only we had discussed what is the another name of man made fiber it is also known as synthetic fibers which are the two man made fibers nylon and polyester which are which are the two man made fiber there are only two fibers which are they nylon and polyester nylon and polyester there are the another name of man made fiber is synthetic fibers and what is the another which are the synthetic fibers nylon and polyester a n o t h e r another n a m e name o f of m a n man m a d e made f i b r e fiber s y n t h e t i c synthetic f i b r e s fiber synthetic fibers 
what is another name of man made fiber synthetic fibers material that is used to make rain coats what is the material that is used to make rain coats is wool used or it is cotton used no which is that material that is waterproof material which does not allow the water to come inside and make you wet so which is the raincoat made up of which material waterproof material m a t e r i a l material t h a t that i s is u s e u s t o t m a k e make r a i n rain c o a t s coats what is the answer w a t e r water p r w o f proof water proof so this is the third lesson objectives we will revise it once again and we will finish it here okay so from first page check your answers if anything is wrong just correct it S U N L I G H T sunlight S U N L I G H T sunlight K U W T C H C kacha K U W T C H C kacha P U W C A pakka P U W C A pakka W I R E wire N E W T I N G S wire nettings W I R E wire N E W T I N G S nettings D U S T dust B I N S dust bins D U S T dust B I N S dust bins F I B R E S fibers F I B R E S fibers A C R Y L I C acrylic A C R Y L I C acrylic P O L Y S T E R polyester P O L Y S T E R polyester A H O U S C house S H O U L D should H A V E have W I N D O W S windows A N D N O P E N open S P A S S P A C E S spaces T O T L E T let N S N S U N sun L I G H T light A N D N F R E S H fresh A I R E I N in uh, how should I have windows and open spaces to let sunlight and fresh air in W I R E wire N E W T I N G S netting Z I N in D O D W O R S doors A N D N W I N D O W S windows S T O P stop T H E D E N T R Y entry O F O F I N S E C T S insects third dustbin should be kept covered fourth one early man used skins of animals to cover his body fibers obtained from plants are called plant fibers fibers obtained from plants are called plant fibers cotton plant fiber 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 wool animal fiber wool animal fiber nylon man made fiber nylon man made fiber summer light colored clothes summer light colored clothes winter dark colored clothes winter dark colored clothes two things that help in keeping a house clean broom mop broom mop fibers from plants cotton jute fibers from plants cotton jute fibers from animals wool silk wool silk man made fibers nylon polyester man made fibers nylon polyester give one word household waste is thrown in this dustbin household waste is thrown in this dustbin 
things that i used to make clothes fibers things that i used to make clothes fibers another name of man made fiber synthetic fibers another name of man made fiber synthetic fibers material that is used to make rain coats waterproof material that is used to make rain coats waterproof okay so till now we have written lesson number 1 lesson number 2 and lesson number 3 objectives now you have to write all this in your fair book and you have to send us the photos okay okay so thank you thank you for listening to me thank you bye bye have a nice day